Hey, Josh, turn it off. We gotta get this video done. All right. Yeah. So for asthma, we have the technical definition, and that's chronic inflammatory disease of the airways. But we need to include like what that actually means. Well, yeah. What it means is like when the airways come in contact with the trigger, uh, but they become inflamed, narrow, and they fill with mucus. Triggers like what we can into some like examples of the triggers. What what's one of those? Well, everybody has a different trigger, but some of them are like uh, exercise. So, what um, might some of the other triggers be? Might so, like yeah, you have asthma, don't you? Yeah, yeah I have asthma. <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> does exercise cause some of yours? Uh, yeah, exercise causes some of mine, but some of mine happen when I'm not exercising. So, so like, well, I mean, some of them are like pets, uh, mold. That makes sense. Uh, breathing in dry, cold air, and maybe even like secondhand smoke. Okay, so okay. for. Whenever we shoot the video, we either have Josh exercising and getting an asthma attack or some of the other stuff like breathing in dry, cold air, something with pets, I guess. Yeah, because okay. exercise is the only trigger. Yeah. Yeah. I could like bring a cat to you or something and be like, the pets. Okay. Yeah. That's good shoot. Okay. And. Sounds good. Sounds good. We didn't accomplish anything. You know? I mean, like, after looking at that, we should just not put that in the room. Let's see if we can find some more stuff on it. Yeah. Alright, well, this, uh, we have to include who's at risk. And earlier we were reading, and it said that everyone has like a 6% chance of developing asthma. But if you have one parent yeah. with, that has asthma, you have a 30% chance. And my dad has it. Yeah, so, so I have, you know, okay. And if both parents have it, you have a 70% chance of getting asthma. That's easy. Yeah. I also uh, said that, uh, somebody said cabbages. Cabbages. <laughs> uh, also, it said that childhood asthma is more common in boys than it is in girls, all the way up to uh, age 20. Um, and then whenever you get to the age of, the age of 40, um, more females have it. Than males. So it starts yes. off more boys have it, and then and then more, after 40. And then more women have it, yeah. It says in here that every day in America, 30,000 people have an asthma attack. 5,000 people end up visiting the emergency room with asthma, and 1,000 people are admitted to the hospital due to asthma. Wow. 11 of those people will die from asthma yeah. every day. Every day, 11 people die from asthma. Yeah, that's terrible. That's insane. It's, it's just like, asthma. You can die from Okay, for the mode of transmission, the only, you, it's not contagious, you can only get it genetically. Okay. Um, so I guess we put a slide in there for that. And then major symptoms, not you have asthma. So, like what are some of the um, yeah. You get lots of wheezing, um, sometimes some coughing, some shortness of breath, um, tightness in your lungs. Alright. Like your chest. Feels like, yeah. yeah. Feels like you're breathing through a straw? Yeah, like a coffee straw though. Coffee straw. Yeah. Uh, is asthma worse than that? Yes. Oh, breathing through a regular straw is easy compared to asthma. Wow. Um, and then treatments. I know there's inhalers. Oh so. well, yeah, I mean like there's uh Anti-inflammatory and uh, bronchiodilator asthma inhalers. There's also oral medications, and um, also there's asthma drugs that are delivered in an asthma uh, nebulizer or a breathing machine. All right, so how are we going to include that in the video, like a salesperson? Or... Um, yeah, we could do a video of a salesperson trying yeah. to sell somebody um, asthma medication. Right. So if you can wait and include it. Let's go shoot that. Action. I've got the product you need. All right. How much? Two hundred dollars. Cash. Two hundred dollars. Okay, well that was a terrible idea. That's I know. Apparently they don't have sales. It's not yeah, realistic at all. Not realistic. Like the only way you're gonna get your asthma. Is like, <laughs> Why is he gonna prescribe to you? How does he know if you have asthma? Well, I mean, I mean, there's a series of tests that you can use. I mean, there's uh, lung function tests. There's um, Test to determine whether you're allergic to specific foods, pollen, or other particles, and also there's blood tests just to picture to get a picture of your raw health. We need to include that scene in one of our videos. Yeah, like being diagnosed with asthma. Yeah. And uh, um, need prevention. Medication. Prevention. You can't prevent the spread of asthma because it's genetic. Yes. But yeah. Thank you, you can Josh. always. We've been over that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Really. But you can always avoid your triggers and prevent the effects. Yeah, so I guess you can just avoid. The Whatever. symptoms. Yeah, your just, asthma yeah, yeah. just use your medicine uh, as much as you need it and just prevent it. Okay. 
in around three years. And long term, it's you have the step with it. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. It's a lifelong disease. Life yeah. Life disease. Can't grow out of it. So, uh, Ron, you have any interesting facts about? I know this? all these story facts. Well, did y'all know that May is Asthma Awareness Month? Really? Yeah, that's coming up soon. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's like in a few days. Yeah. Um, and 17.5 million adults have asthma. Go Along on. with that, there's 1.7, I mean, 7.1 million children that have asthma. Dyslexia. Asthma. And uh, 3,447 people died of asthma in 2007. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then the other stuff is just that, you know, Minutes ago, 3,000 people have asthma attack each day. 5,000 visit the emergency room each day, and 11 people die of asthma each day. So, how are we going to put all that into a video? You know, I, we can't show people dying. Yeah. I don't really think we need a video. Maybe we don't need a video. Maybe not.